CBS News transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport in Arlington, Virginia. I'm sure it is so busy there, Chris. <laughs> uh, I can already see some families lined up behind you. Um, any major delays across the country that people need to know about at all? Well, the airline started the day very well. In the first few hours of the flight schedule, they only had about 16 delays nationwide. That's really important because if you're an airline, you want to get that first wave of flights off on time. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Now, there are some weather systems out there that the airlines are watching closely. Uh, as of yesterday, we talked to both Delta and Southwest. Their weather casters were fairly optimistic that those would miss major metropolitan, metropolitan areas. But of course, they're watching that rain free line very closely. You don't want that to drift into a metropolitan area because that's when you start seeing major delays. Thunderstorms, another thing they're watching for. Uh, one other factor today, and particularly in delays, it's pretty cold in the Northeast. I'm watching a plane uh, out of my, kind of just out of my line of sight here, get de-iced. That adds some time to the departure process. So you may see some delays stack up throughout the day, but it got off to a pretty good start uh, across the East Coast, and the hope is that it will trickle west uh, throughout the day. Uh, but there are a lot of people flying. Planes are very full. We're talking 90, even 93, 95 uh, percent load factors. So most of the seats are full. You do not want to miss your flight. One of the most important things you can do is get to the airport a little early so you get through security because if you miss that flight today, you are risking a window seat in the terminal for your Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, so, Chris, if there is someone who has never been on a plane before or ever visited an <laughs> airport, what is the biggest tip or the biggest tips that you can suggest to avoid headaches there? Well, you know, there are a lot of people flying this Thanksgiving that are the one or twice a year uh, type of flyers. So what best thing you can do is get to the airport early, if you're particularly if you're checking a bag. Get to the airport early, leave yourself plenty of time, and know what the TSA rules are. You know, the, the three ounces or less of liquids, uh, take the shoes off, all that kind of stuff if you're going through security. Just get here early so you've got that margin of error. You know, the lines I was watching this morning here at Reagan were moving pretty well. The TSA was pretty optimistic that they could keep wait times to 10 to 15 minutes, but you don't want to be the one person who uh, doesn't leave enough time and then you're, you're, you're the one like racing through the airport dodging people on like a slalom course trying to get to your plane. <laughs> it's so true. Uh, you mentioned how packed the planes are. The other thing that will be packed trains i know because you i know. take the train every day from philadelphia to new york it was <laughs> packed i mean the midnight train was packed with a bunch of amateurs Not the taking the train, train. To no train to Georgia. <laughs> no the no. midnight train to Philly. somewhere <laughs> north of boston uh, but what can people expect uh, well this is one of the this is the busiest travel time for amtrak the next few days so if you're in the northeast you're going that northeast corridor between washington dc and boston trains are very full um, you know, you're likely going to be crowded in there. So expect every seat to be full. Uh, and same rules kind of apply. Get there so you've got enough time to get on the train. Uh, you won't have the same security uh, that you are used to at an airport, uh, but you may see more security than what you're used to at the train stations because of the volume. Uh, and you're just going to see bigger crowds. And it's, it's the same thing with the roads. I, I think we have David Begno out uh, touring 95 right now. My, my guess is that that traffic's pretty terrible, so he might be there well after the holiday. But uh, the rule across the board is just be prepared for things to take a little bit longer than they normally do because there are so many more people, whether it's on the roads, uh, on the rails, or in the air. And, you know, just like the air, just like the airplanes, if there's a weather issue, that's going to slow things down. The good news for the Northeast, looks like the train should be running pretty well without too much disruptive weather uh, in that regard. I have one more rule. Okay. Do not talk on your cell phone in the quiet car. Oh, my God. That is the biggest pet that's, peeve of mine. That's always a good one. <laughs> I'm a quiet car police officer. You don't want me on that train with you. Chris, as you know, we have a friend in Japan. Uh, you know, in Japan, you if you're on a quiet car, you are really not allowed to talk in the quiet car. Here in the U.S., it seems like it's more of a suggestion for people. I don't know why. Oh, I suggest it. <laughs> Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much. Well, you know, and I, I'm sure the... I'm sure that midnight quiet car is quite an experience. <laughs> it's like one big, long sort of mass sleeping session sort of thing. You just want to make sure that whoever's beside you doesn't <laughs> lean over and drool while they're sleeping. They, you know, know their boundaries. <laughs> oh, man. That's Happy an important holidays. Tip. Chris Van Cleve. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>